Uh, hey, I, I'm just looking like going back younger. We're talking about the program, but I mean, Phil Kessel's 35 now and he's a cartoon character. So what was 18 year old Phil Kessel? Like? Oh, that must have been oh, a shit show. <laughs> Phil is my favorite because like when I went to that program, you know what it's like. You, you go there and it's just you, you pretty much are gelling 20 egos, the biggest yeah. egos. And you're in and shock, like, too. Oh, and it's just like, you know, you got you're working out every day, which you've never done. You're like you're miserable you hate and so you get all these guys in the room and you got you still got that like i played when it was still like boston guys hated minnesota guys and like i didn't even have a home i was just a nomad so i didn't know who to hang out with i i was like good friends with a boston guy and a miss i ended up we ended up being like close because i like helped bring them together uh ryan stoa and jason lawrence were like my two buddies at the time and uh but phil was hilarious because like just god-given talent and obviously you like i didn't know I, I'll, be, I'll be the first one to tell you i didn't know about anybody going to that program i didn't know i played in central pennsylvania like i, I didn't know who the best players in the, in the country were i remember going to that tryout and I, I i remember leaving with my mom laughing i'm like i'm never making that team i'm in over my head not a chance those guys were flying and sure enough i get the call and uh and go but i remember just phil would just made me laugh because we have to work out every day right and phil you know he was just a god-given talent and, and honestly he's a pretty strong guy uh, uh, one thing people don't know about him like yeah you know there's jokes like he's actually re- lower body wise like he was really he would throw up some serious weight but like when we had to go do runs and stuff he would be like you know we'd do a mile run to warm up or whatever and he'd be like hiding and then like jump out at the end to come into the end <laughs> or we had to do boxing did you guys ever do boxing with oh, uh I, Kurt? Dude, we did boxing barry talix and i've told this story big minnesota kid we would go in like we'd be going like this because we both were such pussies and then and then he, the guy was it kurt was kurt still there yeah kurt, and he kurt. goes talix to get the fuck out he's like matt green get in there beat the piss out of whitney <laughs> <laughs> We Kurt would bring one of his golden glove boxers to come. Yes. Oh man. So we were all petrified, right? This kid is unbelievable. And anyway, we like Phil would be in there and like, like you like half ass boxing. And then he'd be like, George, get in there and fight. And then Phil would just start running around the ring. So the guy wouldn't be able to hit him. You know, we're like dying laughing and hoping to God we don't get in there. Um, but great, great group of guy. Like I was, that was such an education for me uh, playing with guys like him, even Jack Johnson, who was like the stud at the time too. And um, you know, and just, that was such a cool program. I'm, I'm really glad I did it. I, I, I remember hating it honestly at first, cause I'd never been pushed that hard in my life. Same here. Same here. But by the end I loved it. And I, I, I probably would have never left had my mom not gotten sick. Um, I would have stayed for my 18 year, but I had to go home and I'm glad I did that. But uh I love the group and, and, you know, Phil was obviously a guy that, that, you know, ran and even Nathan Gerby was another guy that was a stud, a stud back then. It was like him and Phil were our best players by far. And uh, they were fun to watch. 